So, sounds like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want Samara involved. So instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok beast, we did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Sutter knows. <sighs> okay. Ready when you are. Well, the armies are probably gathered in their home realms. Waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... Sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? I fall asleep. Promise you'll finish it tomorrow. Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening, he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy, and he grew weaker as time went. And one day, he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death <sighs> is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. <laughs> mm. 
You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Faye, do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. To grieve deeply is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
hope to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. for grabbing this. You have seen Sindri. Yeah. He ain't in a good place right now. But who is? I'm sorry, Linda. I know you and Brock... Just tell me you're gonna get Odin. Tell me whatever it takes, you're not letting that bastard walk away from this. You will not. Damn right. And if in the process you happen to tear him a bucket load of new holes in places he don't want them, I'll be rightly obliged. Now those are some angry knives. Anger getting hotter. look like a toothpick. Let's make some magic. And a little one. Thank you, Lunda. Ah, yeah, big softy. You can thank me after, uh, if, if we all come through the other end. I will. It fits. Or need. Big pain in a small package. Thanks for this. Mm, know what you want?
General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, might as well be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock. after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You gotta stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. to do. Keep moving! 
focus remains on the war machines. We should head to the flaw behind the Asgard Tower. Without Raptor rockets, our only chance to break through the wall. Things are small. You said only Satan knew how to use it. Let's pray I was wrong. The Alpha. Here it comes, guys. Shield strike now. Steady your guard. New Valkyrie Queen is gone. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Oh, <laughs> 
Careful, brother. You're covered in black fog. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Here New Valkyrie Queen Canal. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Oh, 
Odin's new Valkyrie Queen is not. This complicates things. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Get a gun to find you! Keep 
moving. At least that yes. army is already dead. We're getting nowhere. The aid heavy are returning from Valhalla as quickly as we kill them. Thank you. Giant Giant's made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Hmm. Rally all you can. We will make for this funnel of Hunt Tower. I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Sin, Save it! Ah! Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants. Cyclops, behind you! Got some bypass on you. Be careful! No. Ah!
more or less what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. No. Close your heart to it. Close your heart. Who are they? Midgardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice. Everything. What are you doing? Son, listen closely. You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, son. Today. We will be better. But... What can we do? See the size of that thing? I think we're gonna win. Yeah, I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we. We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three, get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see if done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! No! 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 Protect him! I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the fall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm not gonna fight now. Hurt! 
control me. <laughs> <laughs> 